What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE SummerSlam 2021 predictions video. SummerSlam is this Saturday, August 21st, 2021 and I am filming this before the go home episode of Smackdown. So if there is any matches that are added on said Smackdown, I will be adding them and my prediction in the comments and the description down below. Without further ado, let's get right into match number one. Kicking off the show, we have a match I could not care less about, so I'm not going to waste any time on it. Alexa Bliss versus Eva Marie. I don't care about this one. Alexa Bliss to win. Next up, we have Drew McIntyre taking on Jinder Mahal. This is another feud that I feel like could have been better. But WWE has really dropped the ball on this one. However, I do think it is good that they are keeping Drew away from the main event scene for a little while. I know a lot of fans were starting to get a bit sick of him. Not myself, but I know a lot of people were. So it's good to keep him away for a little while. So when you eventually put him back in the main event scene, it's going to feel a bit fresh again. But anyway, Drew McIntyre to win. Up next, we have the United States Championship match. The champion Sheamus defending against Damian Priest. Now, Priest has been... Pretty actively used on Raw recently uh, in a program with The Miz, John Morrison and Sheamus all at once. And he's taken on Sheamus for the US title. I think, guys, that Damian Priest could beat Sheamus and win his first singles championship in WWE, not including NXT. So, guys, Damian Priest to become the new United States champion. Coming up next, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. The Usos defending their titles against Dominic and Rey Mysterio. Now, the Usos have only just won. Also, the Bloodline now has all the championships. I'm going with the Usos to retain on this one. This match is going to be an absolute banger. These two teams always deliver, and I cannot wait to see them wrestle again. But unfortunately for them, uh, Rey and Dominic, I mean, I've got the Usos to win. Up next is the Raw Tag Team Championship match. The champions AJ Styles and Amos taking on RK Bro. I love RK Bro. Riddle and Radio, and I think they're doing great right now. And I think it's time that they have the Raw Tag Team Championships. And if I'm not mistaken, Randy Orton has never actually held this version of the Raw Tag Team titles. He has held the SmackDown Tag Team Championships with Bray Wyatt. But he's never held the Royal Tag Team title. So I think it's going to be cool because I think Randy's going to win that. And then, of course, Riddle's never held a tag team title on the main roster either. So Randy Orton and Riddle, RK Bro, to finally beat AJ Styles and Amos. Up next is the Raw Women's Championship match. And regrettably, guys, I don't really care that much about this one either. It's, uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm, I feel bad for saying it, but it's true. Nikki A.S.H. defending her championship against Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair. I don't really know what's going to happen in this one and it makes it quite unpredictable for me because I haven't really cared about the storyline. However, I think that Nikki A.S.H. is putting in some great work right now. I know that some of the crowds aren't responding to it. It's not my cup of tea, the gimmick personally, but I can tell how much she's put into the character. I can tell how hardworking she is and I think that's going to, you know, I think they're going to notice that backstage as well. So with that being said, I've got Nikki A.S.H. retaining the Raw Women's Championship. Up next, we have a big WrestleMania rematch. The SmackDown Women's Champion, Bianca Belair, defending her championship against Sasha Banks. Now, this is going to be a banger. Now, it could also go two ways. Will Sasha regain the championship, leading to an, one more match, a third match between these? I don't know. Bianca Belair has been absolutely dominant. And with that being said, I've got Belair retaining the SmackDown Women's Championship and once again beating Sasha Banks. We are getting on to our final three matches now and this one is probably the most anticipated match on the SummerSlam card. The match we have been waiting since 2014 for, the rated R superstar Edge taking on Seth freaking Rollins. We have been wanting this since Seth threatened to curb stop Edge in 2014 and I can't believe we're finally getting it. Edge and Rollins. I cannot wait. And who is going to win? Now, you have to think about it. Edge is actually a part-timer. I know he's been on TV frequently as of late, but he is a part-timer, meaning he's due some time off. Seth Rollins is claiming that Edge is the one standing in the way from him competing for the Universal Championship next. So does it make sense for Edge to beat him 
And you've got to bear in mind, Seth Rollins has lost quite a lot recently as well. I'm going with Seth Rollins to beat Edge. That's my prediction. It could go either way. Honestly, it could go either way. But I am predicting Seth Rollins to beat Edge and send Edge once again uh, back home so he can have some more time off as he has been competing quite regularly these last couple months. So there you go, Rollins to beat Edge. Let's get on to our two main event matches. Next up, we have the WWE Championship match. The almighty champion, Bobby Lashley, defending his title against WWE Hall of Famer, Goldberg. Now, you guys know that I'm not a Goldberg fan. I don't like the fact that Goldberg constantly comes back, gets a main event spot on the card, competing for a championship, and then wrestles a five-minute match and either wins or very rarely loses. Uh, but you know what? I, I don't blame the man. If I was offered that amount of money to come back and do such things, I 100% would. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it is annoying. You know, you, Goldberg is of that level. He doesn't need to be in a title match to be on the card and make it special. An example, SummerSlam two years ago was perfect. Goldberg versus Dolph Ziggler. It was a great match. Goldberg got a payday and everyone enjoyed it because nothing was actually at stake whether Goldberg won or lost. But this time, the WWE Championship is on the line. And I get fear. The same fear that I got at the Royal Rumble when Goldberg took on Drew. However, I actually think that the almighty Bobby Lashley is going to dominate Goldberg and absolutely decimate him to retain the WWE Championship. But then what happens next? Now I could predict this or I could just say it. Big E. I think there's a good chance that Big E will cash in his Money in the Bank contract on Bobby Lashley to win the WWE Championship, come back over to Raw and reunite the New Day. But then I've also seen people say that Big E that Cena could win the Universal Championship, his 17th title. Big E could cash on him and win. That way Cena goes back to Hollywood, but he's still on the 17th title. I don't know. So I'm not going to predict anything. Okay, I'm just going to say that Bobby Lashley is going to win the WWE Championship. I'm not predicting a Big E cash in. I'm saying it's possible, but I'm not predicting it. Lashley to retain and Lashley to walk out of SummerSlam still the WWE Champion. And here we go. The main event of SummerSlam 2021. The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, defending his Universal Championship against the 16-time World Champion, John Cena. Now, will John Cena pick up his 17th World Championship and his first Universal Championship? I don't know. I am so torn. He has been advertised for, like, it's either one or two or a few shows after SummerSlam, which makes me think, could he win? I mean, if he if he was completely not on anything after SummerSlam, I'd think that he's losing. But at the same time, I feel like WWE know that us smarts are going to look into that stuff. So he may be advertised for the next two months, but they're holding it off. I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm going to do what I normally do. I never bet against the Tribal Chief. So guys, I have got, as much as I would quite like to see Cena hold one more World Championship, breaking the record, I have got the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, retaining the WWE Universal Championship. And there you go, guys. That was my WWE SummerSlam 2021 predictions video. Let me know your predictions in the comments section down below. I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say. SummerSlam is, of course, this Saturday, not Sunday, Saturday. So I will be reacting to it live as usual. Expect my live reactions. Also, another little prediction. I do think we will see the WWE 2K22 trailer be dropped at SummerSlam. If that does happen, I will react to that as well. But there you go. Those were my predictions. Let me know yours in the comments section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys at the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam.